This is how you can make a Minecraft server statistics command using our Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by getting a god tier on Discord or a super or god tier on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded custom bot packages based off of a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so we're going to go over to community, and we can go ahead and create M server and then we can do stats.js and here we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder we can get our button builder we can get our button style and we can also get our action row builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js next we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder then we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be mc server stats just like the name of this file we're going to go ahead and get a description which is going to be a check the status of a minecraft server then we're going to go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function we can get our option and then we can go ahead and do dot set name this is going to be our ip we're going to go ahead and set a description here we can go ahead and say the ip of the minecraft server and we're going to go ahead and do set required we're going to go ahead and make that true then we can do async and we're going to go ahead and get executes we can get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up and here we're going to get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction and we're also going to do const ip equals and we can do options that get string and that is going to be our ip string next we're going to go ahead and do var our msg and we can go ahead and create a function so we're going to do async function send message we're going to go ahead and get our message our button and our updated and we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to get our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we're going to go ahead and set a color this is going to be blurple and we're going to go ahead and set a description which is going to be our message string next we're going to go ahead and do if a button then we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do const button equals new action row builder and we're going to go ahead and add our components this is going to be our new button builder we're going to go ahead and set a custom id which is going to be mc server refresh and we're going to go ahead and set a label i'm just going to go ahead and get a tree emoji and we can go ahead and say refresh statistics and we're going to go ahead and set our style which is going to be our button style that danger then after we do that we're going to come outside of that button and we're going to go ahead and say if and we can go ahead and get our updated and then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and do await interaction to edit to reply and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to get our embed and we can get our components which is going to be our button component then we're going to go ahead and do await updated dot reply and we're going to go ahead and say content and i'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and we can go ahead and say i have updated your stats and we're going to go ahead and set infernal to true just like that then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to open that up we can do msg equals await interaction or reply we can go ahead and get our embeds and that is going to be our embed and we're also going to go ahead and get our components which is going to be our button components and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that then we're going to go ahead and come outside of that down to our logical statement here and we're going to go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and say await interaction or apply. We can get our embeds here and that we're also going to go ahead and get our embed. We're going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message as well. All right, so after getting all of this information here, we're going to go ahead and get our actual statistics. So we're going to come outside of this and we're going to go ahead and say var get data equals await fetch. And we're going to go ahead and get a very specific URL here. This is going to be an API that was provided to me. So we can go ahead and get our mcapi.us slash server slash status question mark IP equals our IP variable just like that. Then we're going to do var response and we can do equals await get data and we can do dot JSON and just like that. We're going to say if response dot status and is equal to error, then we can go ahead and open this up here. We're going to go ahead and do await send message. That's going to go ahead and create our embed that we can actually go ahead and send. We're going to get our error emoji. We can say backslash stick. We can do IP and we can say is either and we can do offline or does not exist just like that then we can come down here and we're going to do if response.status is equal to success then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and say await and send message 
and we're gonna go ahead and get our minecraft statistics after the globe emoji we can say minecraft statistics so then i'm actually gonna go ahead and copy and paste these in here because there's quite a lot of them but we're gonna go ahead and go through each one of these all right so we're gonna do backslash n backslash n after our minecraft server stats and we're gonna do online which is gonna be a response dot online we can do name which is going to be response dot server dot name keep in mind these are all backslash n and then we do it we're gonna get our ip which is gonna be ip dot two lowercase we're going to get our player max, which is going to be response.players.max, and we can get our current players, which is going to be response.players.now. We're going to do comma, and we're going to just say true, basically setting our parameter up above that is button to true so that we have a button on that embed. Then we're going to actually come outside of this, so right under here, and we're going to do const collector equals, and then we can do msg.create message component collector. Now what we did here is we actually saved the msg variable up here, and this message is actually going to be what we sent using the function down below so now we can go ahead and create our collector so we're going to do collector dot on and we're going to go ahead and do collect and we can get our async i and we can open that up so basically we've gotten our message from the message that was sent within the function and now we're creating a collector to get the button so we're going to do if i dot custom id is equal to our mc server refresh then we can actually go ahead and open that up here so we can actually go and run some code we're going to go ahead and copy this we get our get data variable which is fetching that api and we're also going to get our response we're going to change this to updated data and we're going to keep this as response then we're going to go ahead and copy the send message function that we did above because we're going to be sending pretty much the exact same embed but this time after true, we're going to go ahead and add our interaction into that. So what we're doing there is we're essentially just sending the exact same message, but up here, we're going to have updated data, which means we're going to go ahead and send a reply to that updated interaction, which is going to be the interaction that we provided in the parameter. And it's going to go ahead and say, I've updated your stats. And we can also edit the original interaction that has all these stats in it as well. All right. So the last thing we have to do, which I forgot to do was change this get data variable to updated data so that we can get the correct data that we need for this and with that we are actually done with this entire code so we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we're going to go ahead and test this out so we can go ahead and do mc server and we're going to go ahead and get our ip now the ip is going to be the ip that you would use to join the minecraft server so we're just going to get a pretty generic one which is going to be hypixel.net and we can actually go ahead and send it now here, as you can see, we're going to get an informal message with all of the server statistics, which is going to be online true. The name, which is going to be requires MC 1.8 slash 1.20. It's going to be IP, which is going to be iPixel.net. Our player max, which is right here, and our current players as well. So we can go ahead and refresh these statistics and pretty much nothing's going to change but the current players. That's all this refresh is for. So we can essentially click this over and over again because we are on a pretty big server. We're going to notice that this number is going to change and I'll just refresh it until we get an updated statistic because right now, obviously, it's the same. Sometimes it might not be quite updated um, and somebody might not actually be joining the server right now. So we'll just keep refreshing it until we get updated stats. Now, I've actually updated it quite a lot and nothing's changed. That's probably just because the API is a bit behind, but just know that it will change if somebody actually joins and the API updates. So let's go ahead and get this again. This time we're gonna go ahead and put in something that obviously doesn't exist. And it's gonna say it's offline or does not exist. Let's go ahead and get a different IP here. And this is just one I found on Google when trying to figure out what to do. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Now, as you can see, we have our IP and we have our name, which is actually gonna be blank. So it does not have a server name. Um, this is Skyblock Network. And we have our max player count and we have our current player. So this might not update because the player is a little bit low. But if we were to try Hypixel again, it might be a different number. We can just do that. We can do Hypixel.net and we can go ahead and send it. And it is actually going to be the same, but I think the API updates every five minutes. So if you don't have updated data, maybe wait five minutes and then try it again, and then you should get updated data. But that is how this system works. Now, keep in mind, regardless how big or small the Minecraft server is, if it exists, it will be in this API and you will be able to access the data corresponding with that server. All right, so that's how you can make a Minecraft server stats command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. We'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.